Gloria in excelsis Dio. To thee, O Lord, do we surrender our lives this day and evermore. Anybody disagree? <laughs> Today's lecture is, is on the miraculous. The miraculous. And uh, it's a very interesting subject, and I wish I'd had more time to spend on it. I'm going to spend more time in the future. <laughs> Uh, because today's world, we don't think of the miraculous as a reality. We think of it as something that happened centuries ago, and it was so uh, incredibly unusual that it changed the course of history, and so people don't think of the miraculous in terms of everyday life, their own life, and that of others, unless you're doing a course of miracles, in which case you are thinking about it. <laughs> and asking for a miracle all the time. The first miracle is that you're asking for a miracle, you already got one. <laughs> so the miraculous is usually held in mind as somewhere in the past. And of course, when it did occur in the past, it did change human history. The great miracles of, uh, of the past totally changed the history of the world, especially the history of the Western world. And so therefore we'll re review just how that came about. We found out that people under 200 do not experience the miraculous, do not witness it, and do not experience it. And you notice all the skeptics who calibrate below 200 poo-poo the miraculous. Of course, because they've never witnessed it, never experienced it, it is not a reality. So it sounds like a, dreaming, a dreamer's fantasy. The miraculous, as we'll find out, is relatively commonplace. Almost everybody in this room has already experienced uh, the miraculous resist. Almost everybody in this room. In fact, everybody in this room has. Whew, boy. <laughs> I didn't want one of them to sneak in the audience. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> We're safe from the unholy, <laughs> the ungodly. <laughs> well, therefore, it has something to do with karmic merit. And people will say, well, yes, but what about people who are uh, deep in the pits of, of hell and horror and negativity and experienced a, mir a transformative miracle? They didn't experience the miracle when they were below 200. What happened is they were way below 200, and in, dis in the despair, they, they prayed fervently to God, oh God, please help me. They instantly jumped above 200, and, when you, and therefore they were over 200 when they experienced the miraculous. I had to clear that up about Emperor Constantine, uh, which we'll get to, who of course the miracle that he experienced in the year 312 changed all of human history forever. <laughs> Quite a, so the miraculous then can be, have a stunning impact. Uh, I just wanted us to be aware that the miraculous is commonplace, but unobserved and not recognized.